Hello commanders and welcome in part 8 of the Chinese Empire series. Today we continue Operation Red Dragon as the heat is going to be raised today. We are going to witness a great naval battle here in the gates of the Persian Gulf and also the land battle is going to intensify as I uh, coordinated a naval and uh, an air assault on uh, uh, on the Iranian lands that belong to Algeria. Here I am trying to uh, uh, attack these Algerian frigates from both sides with my frigates and also with my attack submarines. We saw in the last part where uh, our attack submarines they did not have the required range there to attack from a distance of 100 and we had to go to the shallow waters but today I'm going to show you how to properly do the hit and run without receiving no damage here the Chinese Air Force the strike fighters they are going for the first Algerian stronghold in the city of Birjand uh, Birjand is the closest city to our border so uh, I really I really think that he has uh, land armies there that he is going to prepare for us for sure here our Mediterranean task forces that are heading to the coastal cities of Algeria. I have to mention that he has a level 2 naval base in his capital and also in his other coastal city of Oran. I am going to try to swipe all his coastal cities with my attack submarines. Uh, also I'm going to bombard his coastal cities with my frigates and here our 44th striker wing engaged a lot of land armies there in the city of Birjand. Look at that, look at how many land raids are there. And also judging from the damage I received, looks like a lot, a lot of units there. Because from the damage we saw that it's not a damage of on tier, yet it is damage of infantry. So if you receive such a damage on your strike fighters, that means that he either has Mechanized infantry or max level motorized infantry. Both of them they have a decent defensive damage versus aircrafts. You need to read all of these informations to be able to have an idea about your enemy's army. So actually my strike fighters they has been damaged more than 10 hit points I lost. So I'm gonna need some local industries in the airfield I am operating from. And also I will send more uh, strikers to the front. Of course, I am now mobilizing uh, all day the strike fighters because I'm going to need them in this battle. Especially that um, Algeria, he has max level motorized infantry and he might be having tanks and other uh, land forces. Especially that he also has a lot of uh, uh, air bases. So I can uh, expect some air spirit fighters maybe. So here it's just the beginning of Operation Red Dragon as I am still crossing the borders. We do not have a great idea about his about the composition of his army. So we need to continue diving deep inside his lands to be able to um, expose his land armies and air forces of course and under that we will proceed with our next move. Of course guys in the last video a lot of you has uh, gave me a lot of suggestions about how we should proceed with this war. Some of you said we perform a naval blockade and uh, enter from the Iranian lands. Some other uh, people they said that we should uh, focus on diplomacy and avoid such war especially that our enemy he has a coalition of five members so yeah it, it's going to be wise to uh, work on diplomacy and avoid this contact. And Another one, he actually suggested that um, I perform a naval blockade on Algeria and enter from Egypt and uh, Ethiopia from there to like to not waste time in the Middle East and head directly to the African continent, you understand? So here we will see what will happen here. Okay, in the gates of the Persian Gulf or some other people they want to call it the Arabian Sea. I'm going to perform the hit and run with my stack of attack submarines. So the attack has been established and you can see that I kept uh, refreshing the browser to be able to get uh, a very very uh, close by uh, reaction and went back. That naval radar did not attack me back. This means that we strike without receiving no damage. This is the secret, the secret of the hit and run strategy of course operating from a laptop. I'm not speaking about mobile version. From the laptop you need to go closely and um, with, uh, with 
caution of course you need to be cautious there and keep refreshing your server to be able to get uh, an instant reaction here i'm trying to patrol over brijan with my air superiority fighter to see what do we have in here okay infantry has appeared what are the other land radars there i'd like to see okay a lot of armored vehicles okay 100 percent tanks 100 percent Later on we will discover what are we dealing with, but he has a lot of infantry and tanks. Oh god, just imagine if I had one nuclear ballistic missile, or an ICBM, or even a nuclear cruise missile here. I would destroy that city. <laughs> okay, we do not have that, so we only now have some tout artilleries and strike fighters. So I am going to use my strike fighters smartly here i do not want my strike fighters to patrol all over the city and get the defensive damage of all of those units so the wisest thing to do is to target those land radars one by one okay here a motorized infantry has appeared to the gateway to bandar abbas so like i said max level motorized infantry this is why i received a lot of damage on my strike fighters that is um, understandable okay in the coastal cities of his capital alger well not anymore his capital because he moved his capital inside the african desert that was very smart from him actually i give him that he relocated his capital to the city of Bishar or Constantine in the center of the capital uh, inland to be able to, uh, of course, um, defend it from getting taken. That's a good one, actually. So yeah, Algiers is not anymore his capital, but his coastals are clear. Looks like he sent all of his frigates to the Arabian Sea. Uh, this is a good thing for us because uh, we are not going to worry about uh, scattered uh, naval units. Now I have all of his frigates cornered in the Persian Gulf. This means that I will kill all of them there. He cannot go outside, especially that my attack submarines that are closing the gate there. He cannot go outside. Okay, look at this. Why I am patrolling here with the edge of my patrol circle? Well, uh, I am patrolling like that to avoid uh, patrolling all over those uh, land units in Persian to reduce the damage I'm going to receive I'd like to target those land radars one by one so that blue circle is going to target the armored division the first one in the center of Birjan and I'm going to discard the other ones there to be able to get rid of the damage of them all this is a very important tip guys to pick your enemy we use this patrol radius especially against mobile on the air to avoid the AI def uh, attack and other tricks but if your enemy does not have um, on the air you can pick your enemies by using the attack option either you use the patrol radius but with the edge you pick uh, cautiously your uh, blue circle or you just use the attack on the distant uh, unit Algeria has sent us a message. Okay, what does Algeria want? Okay, let's have a look here. Now, why attacked? Well, he is asking why I attacked him. Isn't that obvious, Algeria? You are the first one in the table. You are going to win this game. Of course, I am going to attack you. That's, that's obvious, man. You see, I'm receiving more and more damage on my strike fighters. On this rate, I am going to lose them for sure because the defensive rate of his land armies is high so now I'm going to change the strategy from the patrol to attack his uh, motorized infantry is uh, almost dead see that's the utility of the third artilleries that blue radar is still positioned in that intersection looks like Algeria now is online as he messaged, messaged us so I am going to expect a counter attack and a counter reaction from Algeria. Well, that we will have to uh, discover it in the next episode because today's episode is at the end. This battle is so far from being over, guys. It's going to be continuous and we are going to witness one of the greatest battles in this game. Thank you guys for watching and for your support. See you in the next one. Bye bye.